Good morning, everybody. It's Paul Magnet Man Houlihan here. How are you doing? You're okay? Right then. Sunday. As everybody knows, the Queen's passed away. God rest her soul. Long live the King. That's all I'm going to say. Right. We're in Runcorn, just outside of Warrington. We've been here before, uh, but some good things were found last time. I didn't even have my camera. So, we're out underneath the flight path as well. Nice. Talking about flights, I've just come back from Tenerife. Wee Right then, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Planes and all, right. Drag Queen, pretty rusty, not been used for a couple of weeks. First three live jokes. flight path like I say these planes are going to be coming over every flame in five minutes but anyway a little bit of section of uh, circular I thought it was a socket at first but no bit of threaded pole thing section I don't know a penny on that side and a couple of nails first chuck Say hello, Trace. Hello, babe. Pedal off a bike. Fishing law that's a bit dead. Can you see that, that fishing law? Bit dead. Go in bucket. Uh, some part of something and another. I don't know. Maybe it's off a. I think it looks like part of a, a, a motorbike. Part of a manifold of a, a motorbike or something. Not sure. Sure, Alistair will explain what that is when he arrives. A few more nails. That's chuck number two. Last chuck now. So we've got a scaffold uh, connector. A scaffold connector, up third chuck. Part of a bit of gutter. Gutter section, pipe section, a little cast steel, about 10 millimeters thick, quarter of an inch. And uh, more rusty nails. Right, so that's. That's me three live chucks. As soon as I find anything else, I'll bang it back on. Okay then. Strong magnets, that's why I fell. Right then, on this, on this one, I've got two scaffold joining things, plus a little socket set turning thing. Another little bit that you put the sockets on. Rat, a ratchet. <laughs> ratchet, that's the ratchet, one. Ratchet. Not ratchet, ratchet. There we go, so I've got one of them. I say a couple of uh, scaffold joining bits as well. Got a roadside lamp here for construction workers. And it's only got two legs. The batteries are all still inside that one there. Brilliant, get them out of the water. Oh. 
Here's a little lure. Look at that one. That's an absolute beauty, that one. It's come with trace and everything there. It's like a little baby trout. And uh, it's it's one of the really wobbly ones. Looks like a, that. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's a beauty, that. Nice big treble look on it underneath there as well. Marvellous. This cheeky thing is uh, it's what they use for spear fishing in the water, in the sea mainly. But you can see there that there's the point at the top. This part here had closed down, uh, come together, and then you've got the, the rope here at the side, what's normally on a loop. You pull it back into the gun, and as they're swimming underwater, you fire it, that fires into the fish. Spear fishing, lovely. What's that doing in the canal in the UK? I don't know. First knife of the day has been found by DS Magnet Fishing, young Daniel. Very proud of the fact that he's found the first knife of the day, but anyway, I've got, I've got myself a nice broken padlock. Got a really old file, half round file. Lovely. I'm going to show you something that's so rare, it's, it, you, you'll never see this ever again. Oi! <laughs> Got you! First time we've ever caught Alan magnet fishing. Very, very rare, you'll see Alan magnet fishing. Tracy must have abandoned the magnet. And Alan's flaming jumped on right anyway. You'll have a look and look down here. These are all the little bits and pieces that I've had around this area here now. Not much really. Just bits of scrap metal and bits and pieces. No, nothing, nothing spectacular. Nothing spectacular. I've got a full bag of scrap metal there. A few little poles, some plastic that I'll get rid of in the back of the van. And I've just had a big scaffold tube out as well what will go in the back of Alistair's van but I'm now gonna uh, have a little wander move somewhere else and see uh, see where what other little area can I can get to instead right up so I moved along a little bit further from where the bridge was over there been here about five minutes had a couple of chucks in and uh, just had out this kind of a handle uh, not sure what it's off, what it turns, not sure, but I've uh, got that. Now the rain, now the rain. So anyway, I've just found a little bit of a blade, nothing special. It says uh, Forever Sharp G, oh no, W Richardson, Sheffield, England. Little serrated knife without the, uh, the handle on. Found an old lock off a door or off a cabinet of some kind. And it's absolutely leathering it down now. I've uh, just got myself a little little goddess. But the thing is, the magnet only touched the little roping thing there, and this thing here is not magnetic, but it looks brass with a uh, with a thing over the top of it, with like a silver coating over the top of it, so uh, that's nice. Just wondering if it'll come off. It looks as though it's pinned in. Yeah, oh yeah, it's come off now. So it looks brass or bronze. Yeah, see the brass or bronze. Can you see with the turn the light round here? There we go. Let's go down there instead. There we go. Look at that. A little goddess thing. I'm going to keep that. That looks lovely that, give that a good clean up and see what it is. Well yeah, there's some weight to it, so I think I've got a feeling it could be uh, brass art. It's quite heavy. It's quite heavy. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Marvellous. I've uh, just had this little cog system. <laughs> Bit of a cog thing, not sure what it is. What it's off, don't know. I've also had an old, we think it could be a rally uh, racing bike. 
same bits though, so I'm not going to show you it. Another little random thing is this little pipe that's got mesh on the outside there, and we think it goes on the back of a boat, either as an air duct of some kind, and then that is to stop the rats from climbing inside the uh, the pipe itself. Very light, very light. Right then, comments below please if anybody's got an idea what this is. It's some kind of a handle with a hydraulic end at that piece there that clips into something with a little open and close thing there. And then obviously you must hold it with a grip there at some point. And then it's got three little prongs at that side there. So I've not a clue what it is. If anybody's got an idea what that is, please. Uh, put it at the no idea. That's why I'm asking everybody. Uh, yeah, not got a clue what that is. If anybody, it's very heavy. Put it that way. But I'm presuming it's it's something to hold there, or you hold it there, and then something happens at that end. But don't know what it is. Like I say, anybody's got an idea? Please put it down in the comments. Cause that's weird. Weighs some weight to it though. Whatever it is. We're guessing from what Alistair just said is it's some kind of air filter off uh, the back of a barge of some kind. Yeah, it's got a bit of tape wrapped around it for some reason, but uh, somebody's obviously tried to modify it slightly. But uh, yeah, it's like some kind of air filter of some kind. Two old spanners. Little ring at the other end. Spanner there. Marvellous. Righto, it's time to go. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I do appreciate it, I really, really do. Uh, keep your eyes out for more videos. They are gonna pop up now more regular. And uh, as you can see, heavens have opened up again. But it's late now. We've cleared everywhere up. We're just brushing down now the towpaths. All the scraps gone, as normal, with the uh, Alex stock, Welsh Dragon Magnets. It's all gone in the back of his van. Okay then, right then. Guess what? Take it easy.